Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and you guessed it, it makes sense with Hurricane being the freebie. Uh, the newest character is Molly Holly, but it's not the Mighty Molly gimmick, it's Molly Holly pure and wholesome. Um, I'm hoping this opens the door for a Mighty Molly character, and we can get a Molly Holly Hall of Fame as well. Um, she is a Ruthless Aggression Showboat, so uh, we're sticking with the theme of filling out the classes and eras for women. Um, she is the first one, and I'm thankful for that. Coach, Silence Gems do 2200 more damage at 9k. Links, she'll have the Ruthless Aggression, the Ruthless Aggression link. I know words, uh, which is matching any color moves, charge that move by one more move point. And she does have gear, and it's insane. Um, all color submission moves do 250% more damage per turn. So, I have the gear in my inventory. It is not currently equipped. We will, um, we're going to do a couple builds to start without the gear. And then at the end of the video, I'll grab the gear and we'll do some builds with that. So, trained by the man of a thousand holds, Dean Malenko, Molly Holly debuted in 1997 in WCW, but after her run ended, Nora Greenwald was reborn in WWE as Molly Holly, the cousin of the late Crash Holly and Hardcore Holly, and she became a star. During her two championship reigns between 2002 and early 2004, Molly took on all comers from Stratus to Lita to Gail Kim, who I'm a big fan of, and finally Victoria, also a fan, who ended her last title run. So, like I said, hopefully this opens the door for a Mighty Molly and a Hall of Fame Molly Holly. Uh, ignore that. She's Ruthless Aggression. I'm not sure why that's showing up in the corner for her and Hurricane. Uh, but let's get into the builds. First thing we're going to take a look at is a three-star build, uh, the finisher with double purple. So the finisher, falling power bomb, 10 MP, deal 136,311 damage, choose seven multiply gems to destroy, and pin the opponent. Purple one is the snap suplex, 6 MP, deal 74,246 damage, and choose a three by one area to make into snowfall gems which will modify all gems below it into gem modify name. It's multiply gems uh, of strength four when broken by you. And purple two elbow drop, also six MP, deal 71,221 damage, make three snowfall gems into yellow gems. So I am once again asking Scopely, please give us a tour with some five-star gold women. I don't know how she scales. Portal isn't updated. Everything's broken. Um, so I don't know. She'll probably get another gem to destroy. This could go to a four by one. This could go to four yellow gems. We don't know. But we are stuck previewing them at five silver because at five star gold, we're going to do squash matches and it's not realistic. So there have been a lot of incredible female characters that have come out over the past month. Can we please get a five star gold node in the women's evolution tour, like anything in the women's evolutions tour please and thank you i will try not to mention that for the rest of the preview but no promises so the build i'm going to run for this i'm actually going to do double mp trainers uh so we can get everything ready to go on turn one so woods and kofi for more purple and yellow with my tour perks the purple moves will be ready to go on turn one uh, Santa Hogan, just for more gem damage, and Rikishi to use, um, to charge up the yellow finisher faster with this, uh, three break of yellow gems. For the belt, I'm going full Fury. I've looked for yellow gem, purple gem, yellow move substats. I have, um, a tier four, not quite leveled. I have a maxed out gem damage metal, and I'm using the superior tech plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, make seven red gems 
into yellow gems at the end of your turn. You could also use the It's Time once again, uh, but I figured since these plates are working as intended now, I would use them. And this will help, you know, if we whiff on something, but we manage to break three purples, we can at least help to reload things. And we're going to go against Lita. Because, um, yeah, no five-star golds to go against. Might as well just show her punching up against somebody with a class advantage. So let's go ahead and see what Molly does. All right, so turn one. Yeah, my max tour perks means everything's just gonna be ready to go. Uh, so we're gonna choose a three by one to make into snowfall. So snowfall means everything below it. We're gonna put this on the top row. And we're gonna look for an area with um, at least three purples and a bunch of yellows because we're gonna pick off those. And then elbow drop, make three snowfall into yellow. So that'll convert all of this. Air leaking from the tires. And then falling power bomb. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do that. Turn the reds into yellows. It's 800k, turn one at five silver. Also don't know, maybe those multiply gems go to times five at five star gold. You could also use Matt Hardy. But that's a quick look at the three star build. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the four star. The second build we're going to take a look at is four star and it is, it's interesting. Um, so she's not the first character to have two submission moves, but she is the first to have two that recycle each other. And, uh, when we do the builds with the gear, you'll see, you'll see. Um, but we're going to run double green with yellow too. Um, so yellow two is the twin city twister eight MP. It's a color submission. Choose seven gems to make into green submission gems and do 61,246 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. I just realized that my emulator was a little tiny. There we go. Uh, remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength four. Uh, green one is the reversal, and it's broken. Um, as you can see, it hasn't been... No, that's green two, isn't it? That's green two. Yeah, I know how things work. We'll get there. Uh, green one, sorry, is the body lock rear naked choke. Also 8 MP. Also a color submission, choose nine gems to make into yellow gems and do same amount of damage, same amount of turns. So 61,246 damage for four turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into protect gems of strength 18,625. Green two is the reversal and it's broken. Um, it works. I tested it out. Um, before recording, it, it does work. Um, it deals damage and it heals you. Um, but obviously we don't know <laughs> how much damage it does or how much you heal. Um, they have not got that ready by launch. Um, but I'm going to leave it in the video because that's a them problem, not a me problem. And I have a preview to make. So... What we're going to do is run like double super sub. And by that, I mean, you could probably just, you know, pick either Drew or Bruno, whichever one you have, and then acro Shelton. Um, we're going to do double yellow MP trainers because um, Shamrock is a lot easier to get than Tyler Breeze. So we're going to do double yellow instead of double green. Um, and we're going to add an extra turn 
to each of the submissions and 50% more damage. So we're doing 91,869 damage for five turns. Uh, the belt, if the reversal was working coded, like it's working, but if it was like, if it gave us a description, I would say you'd probably want a green percent depending on how much damage it does. Um, but because it, it's not showing, I've just left my belt the same. The only thing I've changed up is I've brought in an all heart plate, which is going to boost our green and purple gem damage. You could do a heavy machinery, which is break yellow, get green. You could do that. Um, probably doesn't really need, probably doesn't really need a plate for this build, but let's see how the subs look. So we're ready to go. Twin City Twister with two or perks, we only need a three match. And everything else is gonna turn into multiply gems of strength four. So we're gonna give ourselves a three match of greens. We're gonna cover up the greens that are already there. And maybe we'll cover up some of our nah. Let's go there. Try to space those out. Shocker, she broke one. Now we're going to do the body lock, rear naked choke. These are going to turn into protects, so they're going to turn yellow, and then they're going to turn into protect gems. So what we're going to do is take this four match, because we've made them times four. This will charge the sub, and then the yellow gems are going to be protect gems. So let's protect ourselves. And that'll charge up the yellow submission. So now we have protect gems on the board. This means she's not doing a whole lot of damage if she happens to pin us because like we're not moving the pin bar by hitting the submissions. So by the time the pin bar gets to us, we would hit the reversal, heal ourselves, do more damage, submit again, and the match would be over and we'd be at full life. Um, so back to green subs. We have a times four there. I'll take a three match there. And we'll do that. Or we could do enough gem damage with the all heart plate and have it pin her for good. So you can only, I, I can only imagine how fun that's going to be with the gear. And we could try different super sub builds. We could go, you know, all yellow. We could go all green. Uh, portal, go figure, not activated. Preview character, go figure, not five gold. So in terms of doing the math for feuds, not able to currently do it. That said, let's go ahead and take a look at her five-star build. Five-star build that we're going to take a look at brings in yellow three that we're going to run alongside double purple. So the snap suplex that makes uh, snowfalls, which when broken by you makes multiply gems. The elbow drop, which turns snowfall gems into yellow gems. And then yellow three is the pendulum backbreaker. Six MP. They're all six MP moves. Uh, deal 86,709 damage and choose a two by five area to swap into purple gems. Um, again, don't know if it scales at five star gold. Is it three by five? Is it two by six? Does it stay the same? We don't know. Uh, but we're working with what we have. So the build for this, because she's 5 silver, uh, Zombie Drew will be more beneficial than Undisputed Feature Seth Rollins or the Great One Rock. So we're going to use Kofi for more yellow MP, Drew for more purple gem damage, Santa Hogan for more gem damage, Lacey for more purple gem damage. Uh, running Full Fury, bringing back the superior tech plate whenever you break purple, turn red into yellow. 
And keeping with our yellow percent, because that's going to, we're going to use uh, yellow three as a finisher, basically. So let's see. So that's ready to go. And a two by five. I, I knew it was up and down. I was definitely wasn't looking side to side. Don't at me. Okay, so that will charge the purples. We'll make a three by one into Snowfall. We're gonna connect it to this yellow. Just to make sure with the tour pricks we charge up yellow move. Make a four break. Again, it's only six MP, so it should be fine. And then we are going to place the two by five area over the multiply gems and hopefully do a F load of damage. Didn't even need a cascade. 780,000. You can, that, that'll be at five star gold. You could finesse that quite a bit. You know, I could look for better substats. We don't know how the multiply gems uh, scale up. You would use a percent trainer over a flat trainer in that situation. Um, but a very straightforward high damage um, move set for her. But I know what everybody wants to see. They want to see the sub builds with the gears because that is going to be her selling point. So let's go get the gear. All right, we have the gear. And uh, remember how I said this would like open the door for a Mighty Molly character? Well, I, uh, you know. Ta-da! 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 Mighty Molly! Where is she? As I was saying, Mighty Molly! Da da da! So the gear, all color submission moves do 250% more damage per turn. So Nikki ASH is almost a superhero. This is the superhero she was aspiring to be. Da da da! Does the cape stick? Does this, does it stick? Ah, proper superhero. The cape knows to stay in place. All right. So obviously we're going to be doing her sub builds with this. Uh, so the Twin City Twister, the Body Lock Rear Naked Choke, and the... Oh! Well, hello! The reversal description has been fixed. So kick out, deal 114,000 damage, and gain 342,001 health. All right, so green percent, the way to go on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do super sub yellow, super sub green, and then um, double super sub. So we're going to start with yellow. You'll want Zombie AJ for the extra turns, Kofi for the yellow MP, Tech Drew for the 50% and the extra turn, Shelton for 20%. So right now it's 104,119 damage for 8 turns. Now keep in mind when you're adding the 250% from the gear, that's 250% of this, not, not of this. Um, so all of the all of the percentages add up and apply to the base. So it's 250% plus 50% plus 20%. So 320% of this number is what the boost is going to be. And um, as you can see on your screen, I just kind of took the belt away. Um, I took all the metals off. I took the plate off. We just have the um, the 5% boost. This is giving me China WrestleMania 17 vibes. 
face is doing weird things. Kind of hoping she'd have like a superhero entrance. But whatever. Um, so because of my tour perks, we're ready to go on turn one. So now we are doing 257,000... 234 damage for 8 turns, which means she did. Basically means turn 1, game over. Yeah, she going bye-bye. She's going bye-bye. Oh god! Is that why the gear broke on us the first- Good lord. Um, ah. Okay. So that's the yellow, and I'm going to show the green set anyways, even though the numbers are going to be the same. It's more of just a visual for the trainers and coaches that you need. So I'm going to quickly set that up. Okay, so we have switched from yellow set to green set. Again, the numbers are going to be the same, but it's, this is more just for a visual. I know Bruno is not the most accessible. Uh, so I'll do one more run of this afterwards, but I'll use Acro Jey Uso instead. So nine gems to make into yellow, and same amount of damage, same amount of turns. I don't even care that I gave her a match or two. Or three. Because she's still tapping. Or sleeping. And then let's run this one more time. We don't know. Poor thing. Um, and then we're going to run this one more time, and we're just going to make a quick little change. We're going to substitute Bruno for Acro J. Okay, so we've swapped out Bruno for J. So we're doing one less turn, and we're doing 10% instead of 50%. Uh, but J is also going to give us some damage on the reversal. So this may... Yeah, 232,000 for seven turns. Kind of hoping she pins us, not gonna lie. We could have also set up some more cascades uh, to make sure we did the damage to fully drain the health. But without boosting the green sub, we're still doing, um, or the yellow sub rather, we're still doing 226,000 damage. That's nuts. That's nuts. Yeah, so that gear is going to make her an absolute problem. You know what else is a problem? Her arms and her face. Why can't you guys just release things properly? Busted moves, busted gear, well after the event is launched. I could go on a tangent, but let's, uh, let's conclude. So that concludes our preview of Molly Holly, pure and wholesome, both with and without the Mighty Molly gear. Again, let's take a look at the Mighty Molly gear, which is 250% more damage to submissions. And then the regular 
pure and wholesome gear. So as of um, the time of recording, the portal has not updated to see her five star gold stats. So in terms of feud math, can't do it. But I do have um, her moves, her submission moves at five silver and the defensive feud perks up on your screen. And a reminder that with the gear, we're adding 250%. So you would add that to the 200% from perks. All color submission moves do 200% more damage. So you're at 450. Um, if you have Drew or Bruno, depending on which color sub you plan to run, that's an additional 50%. So that's 500%. Uh, Shelton would make it 520. And then you would get three extra turns from perks. So you can imagine what a submission would look like uh, with a 500% damage boost. But let me know in the comments what you think about Molly Holly finally getting into the game. Um, I love that we're starting to fill out the eras and the classes for women. Uh, this definitely, to me, opens the door to get a Hall of Fame Molly Holly character to help expand that division as well. Let me know questions, comments, concerns, feedback in the comments of this YouTube video. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. And thank you for being a friend.